Election day is tomorrow and the city of Grandview will be choosing three different city council seats. On Thursday we covered seats four and six, today we highlight seat number three. One of the candidates running is Steve Barrientes, who was appointed in April of this year. Barrientes says he wants to be involved in deciding what the city spends and where the funds should be going. He also wants to combine infrastructure and community involvement to have economic growth and job creation. Barrientes also says the council would like to keep the composition of the council where it currently stands because they work well together and agree on matters. To make things happen for Grandview, he says the council is looking into numerous things like events revolving around the community. We're looking at uh, more community events for our seniors, youths, uh, more activities downtown area for our local businesses. His opponent trying to overtake the seat is Juan Rodriguez. Rodriguez wants to put a focus on the youth and kids in Grandview, like bringing more awareness for mental health and talking to members of schools to help out kids who need it. He also would like to see an improvement with state officials along with the community giving them opportunities to share opinions. The Grandview City Council looks to add multiple different things, like a hotel and a truck stop, while Rodrigo says they aren't a bad thing. He says the main concern should be making it a safe place for people to live and to bring their kids up. How do we grow our community if we don't focus on our kids and on the youth? You know, our, our main focus should be the youth and helping out the local businesses. Even though election day is tomorrow, there is still time to mail your votes in. Ballots are due by 8pm by Dropbox or by mail.